Hey, with Slipper Rock head coach George Mahalik, a 35-17 win over California, PSAC West action, final regular season home game of the year, puts the Rock in sole possession of first place in the PSAC West in the driver's seat to play for the state game. Your overall thoughts on today's performance? Well, you know, it was senior day, so there's a lot of emotion and uh, emphasis on that. And I'm proud of our seniors being able to go out uh, as a winner. And, you know, I, I thought that offensively we didn't start as fast or as sharp as we have been. However, the defense uh, played outstanding that first quarter and a half and kept us in the game until the offense was able to find their rhythm. And you mentioned the offense not starting as quick as, as we have been the last few games, certainly this season. I uh, felt like it was 3-0 Cal for a long time after they got that opening field goal on their opening possession. Talk about your defense after that. Held Cal to five first downs in the first half after giving up points on that first drive. Talk about the way they responded after the opening drive. Well, you know, I just think they're getting better and better every game. And uh, it showed today, you know, we were able to uh, control their running game. And, uh, you know, when you can control teams rushing uh, attempts, then you know you're putting them in a pass. And that way we're able to focus and knock some key uh, third and fourth down pass attempts. So we're able to break them up. So our defense, all three levels, you know, uh, line, linebackers, and secondary, did a great job today. Now, not as strong of a day through the air as typical this season for Slippery Rock's offense, but the rushing game was there. Nigel Barksdale over 100 yards on the ground as the quarterback. He finished with well over 200 yards on the rushing attack. Talk about the rushing game today. Well, you know, it's, uh, I think everyone you know, focuses on the passing game of the Rock and they kind of overlook the run game. And, you know, whatever the defense is going to, you know, give us, uh, we're going to take. And, you know, Nigel, he has that ability. Uh, he's not only a good passer, but he's also a very good runner. So I thought our offensive line did a great job today uh, establishing the run game and uh, giving some good protection in the pass game. And senior day, you mentioned you got some great performances from a lot of your seniors, maybe none bigger than Quindell Dean, your linebacker, who stepped up, had 16 tackles today in the absence of Gary Allen. Talk about the performance of Quindell and, and some of the other seniors today. Well, you know, Quindell's a captain and a senior, and you expect your seniors when uh, games are tough, uh, tight or, you know, not going as well, you accept, expect your seniors to step up and have their best game. So, uh, you know, he's just doing what uh, we expect out of him, and, uh, you know, he was able to, to rally and, and uh, motivate and, and keep our defense playing hard. Yeah, moving ahead now, you've got one last game here at Seton Hill in the PSAC West. Seton Hill not having the greatest year, but still can't overlook them going into playing an away game at Seton Hill. If you win that game, you're guaranteed a trip back to the state championship game. Talk about the mentality of the team heading into the, the last regular season week of the year, really. Well, you know, our goal uh, has been to win the Western Division, so we still have one conference game to go, and we'll focus on that. We'll practice hard during the week. Uh, you know, but right now, uh, I think we're all going to enjoy uh, just having sole possession of first place in the Western Division. We're going to enjoy this one today, and uh, we'll get back to work, uh, you know, on Sunday. All right. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, John.